What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Gemini Jets' August 2021 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with the 1-400 to 400 releases, we have this Alliance um, Embraer E190. It looks pretty nice. Uh, I don't need it. Registration is Victor Hotel Uniform Yankee Bravo. And the price is $35.16. Now, uh, Gemini Jets have once again raised their prices for these models. Um, and that's just basic Gemini. They're, they've been slowly raising their prices for years now. But uh, yeah, $35 for an E190. That's, that's a bit pricey. Anywho, moving on down the line, we have an American 737 MAX 8. This I actually do need for Newark, uh, American Fly the 737 MAX 8 uh, to Chicago uh, and Miami from Newark, and they also fly uh, 737s also uh, to those three destinations, and they also fly an American AT21 Neo to Phoenix, but this isn't in this release, but uh, yeah, uh, I know a lot of people have been wanting this model for a long time because it's a pretty rare model, but uh, yeah, registration is November 324 Romeo November, it is... Forty-seven ninety-five, and as usual, Gemini just have raised their prices. Moving on down the line, we have yet another model that I'm pretty sure a lot of people want. We have the American Airlines Astrojet Seven Three Seven Eight Hundred. Uh, now, considering the state of Gemini Jets' Seven Three Seven molds at this time, especially the Seven Three Seven Eight Hundreds with the one that was released back in twenty, I believe the nineteen in the chrome livery, I'm gonna try to give Gemini, Gemini Jets a chance on this one, and I'm going to try to get this model. And I just want to see how it is, because not only do I need uh, the American 737 MAX, like I said earlier, but I also need the 737-800 as they fly to Chicago and Dallas from Newark. So, yeah, I need this. But, uh, yeah, registration is November 905, November, November. And it is $49.95. Gemma just, just, they just keep raising their prices, and it's, it's starting to become really annoying. But, uh, yeah. Moving on down the line, we have Eastern, this Eastern Airlines, I believe it's L10, L, Lockheed L188 Electra. Uh, I don't need this model. Registration is number 5517. It is 47.95. Now, uh, I don't know why they decide to go with such a retro model. I mean, this is like really retro, like the L, L188 Electra is also from like the 1950s and 60s. So I don't know why they chose to go with such a old model but uh yeah anywho moving on down the line we have this fedex aero pastiale it's basically just an atr 72 uh it's a fedex feeder this is obviously for european collectors and their european networks but uh yeah i don't need this model uh, i mean it does look pretty nice uh price is uh the price is actually uh 43.95 of course because gemini obviously can't charge you 35 like a normal person for an atr they have to charge you completely over budget but that's another story uh registration is echo india golf uniform lima eig well it's 43.95 moving on down the line we have two national boeing 747 400 cargo variants um they're the same registration november 952 charlie alpha and 952 ca except one of these doesn't have uh, flaps down, and the other one does. Now, um, in the previous release, Gemini Jets also did this with the Coletta Air 747-400s. I actually did end up ordering the one with the flaps down, and I'm glad I did because that one's pretty much sold out everywhere at this point. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty glad that I got that. But, uh, yeah, anywho, moving on down the line, um, this one is basically the same thing. Flaps, slats down, same thing. But uh, yeah, moving on down the line, we have this Northwest Airlines 757-200 uh, freighter. I don't need this. Registration is November 534 Uniform Sierra and 534 US. Uh, it's $50.95, you know, because you obviously got to pay $50 for a 757, but that's another story. Moving on down the line, Gemini Jets are actually making a killing releasing these Southwest liveries because I know a lot of people want these liveries, especially because most of these liveries are from the states that they live in, and a lot of people, uh, you know, have allegiance to their liveries, you know, Southwest liveries. But uh, yeah, this is the Southwest Lone Star seven three seven seven hundred. Registration is November nine three one Whiskey November and nine three one W N, and it's forty seven ninety five. Now, of course, I don't need it because Southwest they stopped flying to Newark in May of two thousand and twenty, I believe. But uh, yeah, 
Moving on to the last 1 to 400 model of this release, we have this TWA uh, 717. Uh, looks pretty nice. I don't need it. I don't collect retro models, but uh, yeah. Registration November 418 whisk, uh, Tango Whiskey and 418 TW, and it is $45.95. Moving on down to the 1 to 200 releases, we have this Air France Cargo 777F. Now, I don't know why Gemini Jets isn't doing this in 1 to 400. I would really love to see uh, more 1 to 400 interactive models. So far, I believe they've only done that with the uh, 747 uh, variants, with the 747-8s. I believe they've only done that with that. But uh, I don't know why they keep expanding it with the uh, 1 to 200 models. That's beyond me. But uh, yeah, I don't need this model because I don't collect 1 to 200s. Registration for this one is uh, Foxtrot uh, Golf Uniform Oscar, Oscar Charlie FGOC. And the MSRP is $153.95. Moving on down the line, we have this Alaska 737-900. This is in their uh, One World livery. Now, for those of you who don't know, I believe it was in either May or June. Alaska actually ended up joining uh, One World. So this is why the livery was painted out to that aircraft. But uh, yeah, registration is November 487 Alpha Sierra and 487 AS. And it's uh, $95.95. That's actually funny, $95.95. Anyway. Uh, it's stupid, stupid, I know, right? Uh, but anyway, moving on down the line, we have this American 737-800. This is in the Air Calibri. I know a lot of people want this in 1 to 400, so I don't know why Gemini is releasing this in 1 to 200, even though literally 95% of the demand probably comes from 1 to 400 clusters, but that's beyond me. Registration for this one is November 917, November, November, and 917 NN, and uh, it's 9595 for the regular one, and then for the flaps, slats, extended, uh, it is, I believe, a few dollars more, it's 9995 so it's about four bucks more. Moving on down the line, we are getting into the ridiculous category with the prices here. It's $203.95 for a Cargo Lux 747 Interactive. Now, I can kind of see why, because this is a really massive model in and of itself, especially in the 1 to 200, but I'd rather be paying, I'd rather go to like Diecast Airplane Store and pay one, like one, what is it, 63 for an interactive model rather in 1 to 200 rather than paying 200 from Gemini, but that's beyond me. Uh, this is, uh, registration, Lima X-Ray, Lima X-Ray Lima, it's two hundred three ninety five. like I said, and it has the optional open doors close configuration. Moving on down the line, we have this Delta MD-11F, this is in their old livery, uh, registration, cause the, the wing that's blocking it, uh, registration is November 812 Delta, no Delta Echo and 812DE, and it's one sixty ninety five. Moving on down the line, we have the Delta CRJ 900ER. This is uh, in 1 to 200, actually. Uh, November 821SK. It's 7895. So it's basically the same Delta uh, Delta CRJ 900 as the one that was released in March. Uh, but of course, I'm not going to get it. I don't really do any 1 to 200 related things uh, because it's too expensive for me. Like, I, I, I can only fork over so much money before I'm broke, you know? But, uh, every, everybody can do that, but, uh, every, pardon me, sorry, every, you can only fork over so much money before you end up being broke, that's what I meant to say, but, uh, yeah, uh, it is $78.95, now, ironically, this 1 to 200 costs less than the actual 1 to 400 Delta CRJ 900s on eBay, which I find actually quite hilarious, because this model is probably, like, two times the size, uh, and it costs less, but, uh, yeah, Moving on down the line, we have a Royal Air Force A321 Neo. This is, uh, I believe, in the Bors Force One livery. Registration is Golf X-Ray Alpha Tango Whiskey G A X A T W, and it's ninety five ninety five. Moving on down the line, Gemini Jets have once again decided to continue this trend uh, with the creating one to two hundred models uh, after they've been in one four hundred because the Skywest. Uh, CRJ 700 was released, I believe, in June. It was released in June, and now they're releasing it uh, in 1 to 200 now in August. So uh, here we have the SkyWest CRJ 700. Uh, registration is November 604 Sierra Kilo and 604 SK, and it is 78.95. Now this is, I believe, this is the same registration. I want to say, yeah, it's the same registration and everything. It's just that it's in the SkyWest livery, and it's 1 to 200. Moving on down the line, we have two uh, Southwest 737-700s. Uh, this one is normal Colorado one, and this one is just with the flaps down configuration versus the uh, flaps up configuration. 
Registration is November 230 Whiskey November and 230 WN, and it's $95.95 for their co regular Colorado water, and for the one with the slap slots extended, it is $99.95. Moving on to the last model of Gemini Jets' August 2021 releases, we have this United 737-700. This is in their Blue Evolution livery. Um, I don't know why they'd release this in 1-200. It's perplexing. I don't know why they wouldn't just release this one in 1-400, uh, to 400 because there's obviously going to be a lot more demand than 1-200 to 200 models. But, uh, yeah, registration is number 21723, and the price is ninety five ninety five for a 1-200, uh, 737-700. Like, they, they, they just keep slowly raising the prices, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably a bad thing. But, uh, yeah, the only models that I'd really get from this release is the American Max 8 and probably the uh, American Astrojet 737-800. That's really the only models that I need from this release. But if I had the option to get it, I'd maybe go for the National 747-400 uh, just because I like delivery. But uh, yeah, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe to the notification bell to so my videos and comment down below what you're getting from this release. Once again, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.